Suggested by one of our users, they said, well, why don't you just show literally every K1, K2, K3 gallery in DES? And we were like, that's that's such a stupid idea. Oh, actually, that's, that's a pretty good idea. So thank you so much to our community for pointing that out. Guys, this is everything. This is absolutely every color e-paper technology currently available for purchase. Now we are just keeping this in the screen as a pleasantry, the RLCD, to kind of really show you what it's all like, but after the lead-in we're gonna get that out of the way. Guys, this is everything right here. This is gonna be a silly video because it's hard to kind of follow along with everything going on. If you want to see some comparisons with the RLCD, feel free to go to our YouTube channel. Just for good measure, we threw in a black and white unit at the bottom there in the form of a high sense touch. And if you're wondering, yes, right here, this is Kaleido 1. This is Kaleido 2. This is Kaleido 3. This is Gallery. This is DES. This is black and white. And on the screen, You'll see all the labels. How are we going to do this? Well, we're going to show just a few things, okay? It's going to be hard to fit everything in frame here because this is a lot of space, guys. But I'm just going to casually go over some every everything here. What are we looking at? What looks the best? What's happening right now? The best looking thing by far is that. It just doesn't get any better than gallery. Be patient with us, things are going to lock and things are going to kind of time out as we go here. This is Gallery 3, guys. Gallery 3 is the latest possible e-ink technology in color that shows, and the only one, that shows 300 ppi in both black and white and color. There is no other device that will show both ppi variants of color and black and white in full lossless quality and what we mean by that is if you go over to something like Kaleido 3 dead center this one actually has 300 ppi in black and white but only 150 ppi in color so you actually get a 50 percent loss now you get some other units like k2 which only has 117 ppi in color like this one right here this is the s6 color and you'll notice a lot of these are big me because big me has the market cornered in terms of Kaleido screen so that's and calorie screen so that's kind of why we're showing it let's get a black and white unit for reference here this is the high sense touch the 300 ppi screen and you will see that it does display the the, the bird quite nicely now the downside about this is that it's not color so you get zero colors and the downside about basically all of these which I think we still have the original poke where we can turn the color off let's see so if we go over here to the settings menu ah, uh, here it is the modes I believe oh they got rid of it okay in one of the iterations of the poke to color this one right here they actually had an X mode where you could turn off the color but unfortunately now you can't that was just just kind of a software glitch you'll see that this looks pretty terrible compared to everything else now it doesn't look bad but it certainly has had its day in the sun it's 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 finished now this is the this is the this is the granddaddy right here this is the one that kind of started it all along with the iReader c6 and the pocketbook color so you'll see that everything just from the naked eye looks a little bit lacking depth you'll see where the hairs and everything are it's just oh i've switched the page that's fine where the hair and everything are of the bird. It just doesn't have the depth that these other ones have. Now we're gonna bring this into the frame and this is kind of just a little bit of a joke. DES did not age well. They tried their best. The screen technology is viable. It's made by a company called Weifeng in China and they distribute through good displays. No, no, collaboration with goody reader no it's just a coincidence that our names both have the word good in it just terrible over time they really need a company that takes the screens and runs with it in terms of software optimization re-ink stone part of the we would group did not do that you'll see the whole thing looks just like you poured paint on the your driveway and then it rained it's just not looking very good and you'll see a stark difference between these two right here You'll see the green in his hair where it kind of goes from this gradient here. DES doesn't know what to do with that. So it just puts this weird finger 
splotch like you touch the paint when it was still wet and we've refreshed to the moon and back and it just doesn't get any better than that see it kind of spazzes out now it's just desaturated itself so any of you guys that have kind of dipped your hands into the Weewood group with the whiskey ee no the top joy the re-ink stone just kind of rest assured that it's not well not rest assured actually rest quite terribly with night terrors because it's not good we've tried it we've had it we've given them the benefit of the doubt on 12 occasions kaleido's the way to go and to a lesser extent gallery what's wrong with gallery gallery looks good and all of these have the glow lights off everybody there's no glow lights on any of these none of these have glow lights on we'll show you right now they're all off well that one has on but it's one little tick so it doesn't count uh they're all off right now everything's off Gallery looks the best, even with its glow light off. Why does it look so good? Because it's using advanced color e-paper, which is a very high quality style of e-paper. It looks like it's it's being illuminated because it's just so clear and crisp. But when you try to do anything on this unit, it's very slow. You'll see that the way it kind of has to refresh itself is very, very troublesome. For people that want to use it long term now there are some ways to rectify this you can go in black and white mode and then when you do go into black and white mode it takes a little bit of a restart and then you have a little bit more re usability now you can go over to google play you can kind of you know do things with it in a normal capacity now things load you can scroll so in that regard it's not the worst thing in the world if you go into a black and white mode but with color gallery 3 cannot be cannot be contested it's just so good I'll leave the color off just for a second. Kaleido 2. Kaleido 2 has had a bunch of iterations from the Nova Air C, the Ink Pad color, and so on, as well as the Goody Reader X Big Me Ink Note color as well. This one is the S6 color. It's the latest possible Kaleido Plus Kaleido 2 color screen. Now, should you buy this one? Uh, it's up for debate because it's really good. It's fantastic, but... K3 is real and it's on the way and it's here and Read Moo's doing it and Big Me's doing it and other companies are talking about doing it. So we would say for now, if you want color, get the S6 because it's here and it's ready and it's good to go and it's fast. But if you could wait just a little bit longer and see what happens with Kaleido 3, let's go with that. Kaleido 1 to 3 was a massive jump. 1 to 2 was a pretty decent jump two to three is significant you know slight but one to three is huge and i know we're, we're dealing with different screen sizes here because one it's the only ones we had available these are relics at this point and two it's the only ones that actually fit in frame this is a lot of space guys this is a ton of space black and white non-color screens is everything we just know it's the amazon kindles the barnes and nobles the kobo claras that's what this is and that's just what it is i mean you can have car to 1200 car to 1250 on a quaderno things like that it's just going to be black and white there's no colors whatsoever des mm, man just uh sloshy and sloppy and just not rich or anything i mean the, the you could argue that it's a little bit more vivid then say k3 even but even then the cons heavily outweigh the pros and at the top of the hour we had this in the screen with our lcd kind of the latest technology in e-paper alternatives so you can see here even with the glow light off completely all the way down it's still heavily illuminated by the ambient light in the room the viewing angle is pretty terrible it goes away and it reflects a lot because it's a glass screen but it's pretty nice how with no draw to the battery or extremely little you are able to get a clear and concise image now this is an lcd tablet so what that means is that this thing is very fast it's ready to go and you can watch videos and stuff like that you can watch videos on this this and this not really on that not really on that kind of on that and i wouldn't do it on that we're going to show one more thing because it's a growing concern of everyone for some reason. Green. And we're not entirely sure why you guys don't think green can run. And we're not t talking down at you guys. We're just saying green works and we've shown it on all of this is green. Let's look at an actual gradient color of a dedicated green photo. All right. There's two things you need to know about green on the screen here. Everything can show green perfectly fine, except for the black and white and whatever the heck is going on here. We tried to refresh a couple times and 
it's not really it just seems to be going further and further away from being able to see anything and I'm not really sure what's happening to the screen at this point but I will say that the top joy in the ring stone did not hold up well they did not age well in the... I just don't know what's going on with that. All right, well, let's put that over there. Let's look at the main guys here. Kaleido 1 in green. That's what green looks like on Kaleido 1. There's darks all the way to white, light green. And actually, that is white. It's just so bad on the screen that it ends up being kind of a light blue. Now, Kaleido 2 for the greens. What are we looking at on here? So that is still a little bit gray. It mimics almost the color of the bezel there but greens are showing up all right kaleido 3 with green let's just tilt this up and see if we can get something here yep that's all very green and so far the whitest background we've seen there all the way to black so that's very nice greens are showing up really nice and the biggest concern which was the gallery screen can it show green and absolutely it can and the whites are actually the whitest so you can see we have a super dark brown we have kind of a pine a sage a forest and yes you can totally see green on these units so rest assured everyone anything south of a black and white unit which of course can't show any color as well unless you count black white and gray as a color can show green all right we got different books on all of these but it doesn't matter we're mainly showing the contrast out of all of these two of them stand out that one and this one that has the purest kind of unhindered white background albeit speed issues and this one is just the best this is the golden standard of what it should look like it should look like that versus that it should be black versus white like that then you start getting into all the kaleidos and everything and you'll see how kind of dark gray it is here and actually you know what the des is fairly good however it looks terrible and every time i even touch it it force closes so i've got it into a point where it just is stable enough that i can show you this and the text is faded beyond all belief but that's just neither here nor there this is very dark as well you'll see compared to the white of this it's quite great it's quite dark and this is the they're all on hd mode they all have their glow lights off and then you'll see right here <laughs> remember when this was the greatest thing ever guys the iReader c6 and all of the early color stuff the a5 pro by hisense this looks so bad nowadays look how blue it is compared to everything else it's quite interesting though to see how far we've come honestly that's that's pretty crazy last thing guys i just thought of it which is why i said last thing again glow lights on full blast this is the absolute maximum light on all of these bad boys looking at everything that actually looks the best the big me s2 color now this is also a matter of the manufacturer putting forward a good glow light that looks the best one these are both on maximum intensity both cold and warm mixed this is looking really yellow not very good not a good representation of what e-readers can actually do because a kindle is quite nice in black and white but we're just looking at it for face value that's all right it's a little bit low on overall intensity and brightness level but it's pretty consistent this one as well is fairly consistent i don't know what's going on over here with the top that looks like it's coming away this thing is breaking away at the seams this des it's deteriorating faster than anything we've seen in the e-reader industry and again i just love looking back at this and this is not a color white balance trick this is really what it looks like guys look how blue that is it's actually blue it looks like a baby blanket that is so blue it's just crazy this is everything everyone this is absolutely every viable actual e-paper alternative technology on the world right now you can't find any other ones you could argue that well why didn't you show off the ses magatag price tags well it's they're just stasis mode units that just display prices and actually we do have we have had this off camera this is the garmin mip which is the memory in pixel and it actually does simulate e-paper in that the pixels don't actually move until called upon so if i press something then they actually move and it changes state but until they change state you're able to show actual pixels color pixels 
without using any battery. That's kind of cool. And we have this on our channel if you want to check it out. But in terms of this, we have all three Kaleidos. We have DES, we have non-color, and we have gallery. There's nothing else you can buy. You can talk about Spectra. Well, you can't really buy that right now. You can talk about alternative reflective technologies like the Kyobo Mirasol and the Pixel Chi and things like that. Those aren't real products. These are real. You could buy these. You can attain these. You can grab them on potentially eBay if you ever see people offloading theirs. These are plentiful. Kaleido 1 getting harder to find. Kaleido 2 still the, the golden standard. Kaleido 3 right around the corner. And Gallery 3, three manufacturers working on it right now. That's everything you need to know, guys, about every single color display on the market.